Oh, hey there. Good morning. So yesterday I asked you what you thought was the number one quality that would make or break your success as an online brand builder. And I got some really great answers. I heard a lot of focus, um, belief, but if you want to stand out online, if you want to lead with authenticity, if you want to expand your influence and attract your target audience, which I think you do, then the number one quality that you need to develop is consistency. So maybe you're thinking, I thought she was going to talk about her makeup bag. Yes, I am going to talk about my makeup bag. Um, but today, in addition to sharing with you the five must-have colors that every makeup bag should carry. The whole reason for online business leaders to learn how to do their makeup like a pro is so that they can show up confidently as the face of their brand. So optimizing your look not only makes you feel good and feel more confident, but it actually serves your audience in a really big way. So how? So an optimized look is gonna help you show up more confidently, which means more consistency. So confidence leads to consistency. So remember, people wanna hear from a person, not a product or a flashy logo or a clever byline. They will buy into you before they buy into whatever it is that you're selling. So an optimized look is going to help you deepen your connection with your audience. So confident brand leaders don't hesitate to start video, to press record, to go live. And because they know that their message is too valuable to let something like a lack of confidence get in the way. So the more you are willing to show up as the face of your brand, the more connected your audience is going to feel to you. So an optimized look is going to maximize your visual impact. So if it's true that what they say, that the future is visible, visible, visual, 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 <laughs> the future is visual, then you, my friend, are bringing your valuable message into the future and it's important for you to show up for your audience consistently in a visible way. So remember this, a powerful message plus a beautiful aesthetic equals unstoppable results. And I know that's what you want. You want results. So be the face that they remember. Your your eyes, your voice, your vibe. This is what's going to make them come back again and again for more. So I'm here to teach you how to go from blank face and audio only to camera ready and start video so that you can show up more confidently as the face of your brand and maximize your visual impact to really move your message forward and ultimately to deepen your connection with your audience. So today I'm going to share with you five must have colors that every makeup bag should have. So you can find these in my new free guide, The Ultimate Makeup Bag Makeover, a busy person's guide to a high-performing makeup bag. So if you go to my bio, you can grab that in the link that's there. So your makeup bag should feature a collection of go-to shades for daytime, evening, and for on-camera opportunities. And by carefully curating these five must-have colors, then you can feel confident that you're putting your best face forward no matter what the occasion calls for. So must-have color number one is your blush shade. And I actually brought mine here. So 
your best blush shade. Can you see this? Your best blush shade is going to be the one that most closely matches your, your natural flushed look. So think after a rigorous workout, what do your cheeks look like? That's the shade that you wanna to try to match when you're choosing your blush color. Your makeup half color number two, your must have color number two is a lip color. So you're, this can be in the form of a lipstick, a lip gloss, a stain. It can come in matte formulas, shiny formulas. So a lot of it has to do with preference, but just a note, if you're gonna be on camera, I recommend you go with a more matte shade so that the shine doesn't create distraction. We wanna eliminate distraction when we're on camera to draw more attention to our message. So ultimately, your best lip shade is the one that features your mood, your personality, your style. So whether you choose a pink uh, for something more fun and feminine, or you go with a neutral, to sort of tie your whole look together, you wanna be sure that whatever shade you choose is one to two shades deeper than your natural lip color. So that's what I did today. And here's a pro tip for you. So I add my cheek color and my lip color first. And the reason why I do that is because well-shaped blush and well-defined lips are going to bring out your eyes, which means that's just the need for less eye makeup and less is more in this scenario. So your must have color number three, and we'll go back to my palette as an example, uh, is going to be, it's what I call your highlight shade. And this is what you apply just below your eyebrows and in the corner of your eyes. Secondly is your accent shade. Okay, so today I went with a uh, kind of a mahogany looking shade. This is what's going to go in your, this is your accent shade. Okay, this is your must have shade number four, your accent shade. And this is also called your crease uh, shade. So I, you apply this in the outer corner, in your crease and in the outer corner of your eye to give it a pop of color. And finally, you want must have Color number five in your makeup bag is your base shade. So I went with a soft heather, heather today for my eyelids. Now these three must have color number three, four, and five. These all work together to add character and lift and dimension to your whole face. So you're gonna wanna choose a medium color like I chose the heather for my base, you want a pop of color. So something you're going to use less of it, but it's going to give you more contrast for your accent shade. And then for your highlight shade, you're going to want to go with a light neutral. Like I have the biscotti here. So that's going to go on your, your brow bone. And then in the corner of your eye. So another pro tip, <laughs> I say, add your highlight eyeshadow last. Typically I start with my base then I contour with my accent shade, and then I add my highlights. Um, because if your accent shade is too intense, because um, that can happen, you can put it on and think, whoa, okay, that's a little too dark. When you go over it with your highlight shade, then you can blend your accent shade to soften your look a little bit more. So, there you have it. So the five must have colors that every makeup bag should have. You need your blush, must have shade number one, your blush shade, must have shade number two, your lip, your lipstick can be a stain, a gloss. I recommend a matte lipstick for camera. Shade number three, highlight eyeshadow. Your number four is your accent eyeshadow, eyeshadow and number five, is your base uh, eyeshadow. So this is all in my free guide, The Ultimate Makeup Bag Makeover, The Busy Person's Guide to a High-Performing Makeup Bag. You can find that link in my bio. So that guide also contains my ultimate makeup shopping list, uh, the makeup bag audit, which I just created. This is to help you optimize your current collection. 
and the makeup replacement schedule and tracker sheet. So this is so you don't have to worry about your makeup wearing out, expiring, or worse, becoming toxic. So get that link, uh, get that guide at, uh, at the link in my bio. And thank you for tuning in. And I'll be back next Thursday live at 11 a.m. for more makeup bag makeover tips. And I'll see you then.